Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to you. You're watching Encounter in the studios of the NBC today. We have Bintesh Moj Singh, who is a fast two specialist. Very warm welcome to you and thank you for being here. Thank you, Roshan, for receiving me here. Bintesh, Vastu is uh, a concept that is becoming more and more popular. People most of the time associate uh, the concept of Vastu with uh, prosperity, especially with wealth, financial prosperity. But it is also important in terms of prosperity in your relationships, in your family, prosperity in the way that you live. So uh, let's start by a very broad definition. What is Vastu? Thank you, Roshan. So uh, I would introduce Vastu uh, as a motto. First of all, what we all know about yoga is for the mind. Ayurveda for the body. Vastu is for life. So to explain Vastu in the simplest terms, what in, once someone reaches stability, reaches balance in the physical aspect, we are talking about physical health. That's where Ayurveda comes into place. Is if someone experiences balance within himself or herself, he or she can make a better decision. He or she can make uh, right decisions to move forward in their career, in their life. So this is how Vastu helps people to get aligned in terms of their health, uh, in terms of relationship, in terms of finance, etc., etc. What is the science behind Vastu and possibly you can share its philosophies uh, with the viewers of Encounter? Yeah, thank you, Roshan, for, for this question. So this philosophy emanated over 4,500 4, years ago, whereby the, this philosophy relates to the magnetic fields on Earth. So scientists have been make, making so many experiments about the magnetic fields of Earth. Uh, I would uh, suggest we uh, take one of those experiments whereby the psychologists in Caltech University and Tokyo University in 2019, March 2019, they made experiments on how this magnetic field has an impact on, a, on the brain waves uh, inside the human body. They introduce a new term called magnetoreception. So in a sense that uh, we as human beings are receptive to the magnetic fields of Earth. So this is how Vastu comes into being because it defines uh, based on the directions how are the magnetic fields uh, arranged and how these influence our subconscious mind and our emotions, all right? So this is one of those experiments. A latest experiment carried out by the, uh, by the Queen's University in Canada, uh, they, they indicate the, the existence of uh, over 6,000 thoughts per day to the human brain. So what Vastu has in stock in, with, with regards to the thought pattern is related to a specific direction called the no-fees direction. So in, in that sense, I would say that Vasu has all the definitions based on the human emotions, how they are triggered, and how we can realign them and create a new set of pattern. I mean, Tesh, I'm not sure I understand this properly. Can you please confirm that Vastu is able to direct your thoughts? This is what you just said? I can, I, I'm saying that Vastu is a, is a medium of identifying which are those thoughts that you would like to attract towards your own self. So that definitely this might bring a change into whatever you're experiencing right now. So for those people who are experiencing insomnia, for those people who, ex who are experiencing depression and all kinds of difficulties in terms of mental health, Vastu gives us the indication, gives us the precision, where can we sit, where can we relax and have an experienced peace of mind and relaxation. 
So I would say that, uh, like the Book of Secrets, I know many of you have heard about it, maybe have read about the book. Uh, so if I can say, whatever has been written in the, in the secrets, Vastu gives us the indication inside our home, how can we unlock those secrets? How can we really experience the law of attraction? Where can we position our affirmation? Where can we position our vision board? So it's uh, like the compass indicates, like north, the east, the south, and west. Each of those directions are associated with a particular experience in terms of our subconscious mind. So I would say Vastu is a whole world of experience. And if you are looking for answers, we're looking for solutions, we have the precisions for that. Mitesh, this is very interesting in terms of how Vastu not only helps with the financial prosperity, stability, but also which leads to mental health and inner peace, possibly. We will talk more about this later, but I now invite you, as well as the viewers of Encounter, to have a look at the following report on the origins of Vastu and also on the magnetic fields. Vastu, also known as Vastu Shastra, is the Indian science of space and architecture and how we may create spaces and environment that support physical and spiritual health and prosperity. Vastu evolved during Vedic times in India. The concept of Vastu Shastra was transferred to Tibet, Southeast Asia and finally to China and Japan where it provided the base for the development of what is now known as Feng Shui. Vastu Shastra is the art and science of designing houses, offices, temples, etc. that swirl with good energy. Indian Maharajas and Mongol emperors used Vastu when they built their symmetrical palaces, artificial lakes and geometric courtyards that thirstily absorbed positive energy. Like Feng Shui, Vastu is based on an octagon with four directions being the anchors. Hindus believe that gods live in each of the quarters of the house and govern the rooms, possessions and activities in these locations. Vastu is an inherent energy concept of science. We cannot see energy with our naked eyes, but we can realize and see its application in different forms and fashions. Vastu Shastra uses the forces of natural energies and aims to restore the balance between the home and the cosmos. Vastu is not only a science, but is a bridge between man and nature, thus teaching us the art of living. Just like every subject of human aspect is governed with rules, regulations and acts, similarly, the nature has got certain key factor principles for smooth governing of its residence, in which Vastu stands for the law of natural energies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You're still watching Encounter. Vintesh, can you please tell us more about uh, magnetic fields? With pleasure, Roshan. So, as you know, the structure of the Earth, uh, we've got different layers inside the Earth itself. So, what happens is that, let's, say, let's take, for instance, the volcano, all right? It's, there is so many uh, energies inside the Earth. There is uh, movement of energy inside the Earth what we call as lava, etc. So this is what creates a, a field called the magnetic field. And it's got, it, it has so many uses in a sense that it protects the Earth itself from solar winds and even asteroids coming into our uh, atmosphere. So it reduces the Im impact of those asteroids and whatever celestial meteors, etc. coming into our atmosphere. This is the, the, the most important aspect of it. Secondly, we use the magnetic field to, for communication. We use radio frequencies, uh, different kind of frequencies for communication. Even our mobile use, make use of those frequencies, the radio stations, etc. 
So what we can uh, elaborate more is the frequencies related to the electromagnetic spectrum. Exactly. I wanted to ask you, what is the relationship between frequencies and uh, magnetic fields with Vastu? Because it, it's getting very scientific yeah. at this point. So yeah. let's probably just connect the dots. Definitely. So scientists have found out that uh, the Earth itself vibrates at a particular frequency. And we relate that to the Schumann frequency. And uh, the exact uh, number for it is 7.83 hertz, which relates to the natural vibration of Mother Earth. So the aim of us to is based on the balance of those five elements, which can trigger a synchronicity with Mother Earth, which relates to the 7.83 hertz. So our attempt in applying the basic principles of Vastu is how to get a particular space to vibrate at, this, at a certain frequency which almost is similar to the Earth's vibration. Why is it important to vibrate at the same frequency of Earth, which is 7.83 hertz. hertz? So if we take, for example, the human body, human structure, if we go deeper within the constitution of the human body, we have over 70% of water. We've got uh, the elements of air, we've got the elements of space, we've got the elements of fire in terms of digestion of our foods inside the human body itself. So if we, uh, we observe the structure of the earth, it's almost the same. It's the same pattern, it's the same ratio. So if we are able to vibrate at the same frequency of Mother Earth, as you know, Earth has been existing for so many years. We can also be so strong as the Earth is itself in maintaining our stability, in our maintaining our energy, and in the whole way be uh, stable in wh wherever we are. Uh, I have to, again, I will ask you, why is it important to have such a stability, how does that improve us in our lives? So when we talk about stability, we talk about physical health, we talk about mental health, we talk about financials, we talk about relationship. It's a whole aspect of life that we are able to input into stability. So the element itself of Earth, which with uh, regards to Vastu, relates to the stability aspect. So when we, when we hear from clients, we hear from people that they are not uh, living a stable life, we look into the earth zone. We look the, uh, into the degrees whereby uh, within the space, what is there in this, in this earth zone and what is causing this kind of imbalance, instability in terms of relationship, in terms of skills, because the, the earth element relates to skills and relationship. If you're able to, to, impl to apply your skills, you're able to, uh, to nurture those skills, you're, you're able to acquire new skills, so, you so you're able to make new, uh, new uh, achievements in life with regards to those skills, and you're able to earn financially from those skills, and this helps you to be more stable in life. My understanding of this is the earth has a certain frequency and even the human body has a certain frequency. So it is important to try to vibrate at the same, for the body to vibrate at the same frequency of the earth so that we can have an organic life because we originate from earth. Is that what you're trying to say? So I'm, I will I'll try to cl clarify those. So we're talking about Vastu, we're talking about uh, earth and we're talking about the human body, right? Vastu aims at uh, realigning those elements, the balance of five elements, which relates to the four cardinal directions. So it aims at making a space vibrating at the same frequency of the Earth. So when the space is vibrating at 7.83 hertz, the people, the humans residing within that particular space, they are experiencing balance within themselves. They are experiencing connections, deeper connections with nature. Because what is Earth? Earth is full of nature, is full of those five elements. 
So inside our body, we've got those five elements. So as far as we can realign ourselves to, our, uh, to the earth, through our space, so the, the house, the home where we live, is a medium of connection to the earth because when we look, when we go deeper, we've got cardinal points, we've got coordinates yep. of, a, of a space. So this relates to a specific position on the earth itself. So where, where we apply those basic, basic principles of Vastu, we are able to make deeper connections with each of the elements and respect earth within itself. So this is what helps us to uh, maintain our own vibration. And in and, and that line, I would add something to that. Scientists have uh, made so many researches about the human brain, okay? So Vastu gives a full description of whatever has there in science, a full description of, a, of the human body in five different layers. And we will focus today on the central layer, which is called Manomaya. Uh, the, the significance is the mind body. Okay. So Vastu defines the, the mind itself as a whole body. Okay, we will yeah. come back to the mind-body aspect yeah. later. Yeah. Uh, you're a Vastu specialist. Many people come to see you. What are the main reasons? Is it because they want to build a house? Is it for personal problems? Maybe you can share some of your experiences. Yeah, definitely. I can see people come to me for both reasons, both for construction of a new house and even for their issues they're facing in life. So you just mentioned that for issues of life, you spoke about how it's important to be able to raise our frequency to match and hopefully start thriving. But why is it important for buildings also to have a certain direction? Do buildings also have frequencies? So let's, let's take for example what you have inside the building. Okay, let's say the, the radio is playing and your phone is ringing, Roshan. What do you hear? You hear the you hear sounds. You hear the noise because oh noise yeah yeah you hear the noise because your mobile operates at a spe uh, spe specific frequency yep. and your radio has a different kind of frequency. Those frequencies they are not aligned, and this is why I create noise and noise can be heard, all right, okay. with the human body. But there are certain uh, noises, there are certain interferences that we can't hear, but we experience in terms of emotions. For example, if someone is experiencing uh, insomnia, it has a specific frequency. And how can we uh, use the basic principles to relocate, uh, you know, to, uh, to locate a bedroom where people will be spending time for sleeping that relates to, to even the experience of feeling relaxed. Have you, have you uh, heard people that I'm not being able to sleep? Though you've got a bed over there, yep. so this is where Vastu comes in. So before construction, we apply those basic principles so that people need not to make any changes, additional changes after the construction. This is the aim of uh, working before the construction uh, starts. Can you please share some of the principles when it comes to the buying of a house or even uh, the purchase of a land before? Uh, building a house. With pleasure, Roshan. So when we go to, uh, to visit a land, okay, we observe what's around this piece of land. Is there a river going through? Is there any mountain in the, in the surrounding? And if there are constructions in the surroundings, how the buildings appear? How do, they, uh, how do you feel when you, when you are in that particular land? How do you feel by being present in that moment? This is the first observation. Secondly, we use our compass, all right? We use our compass to identify what is the facing of the land, what is the exact degree of the land. And based on degrees, can we identify a favorable entrance? You mentioned many times about alignment through Vastu. Does this mean when someone is, let's say, aligned, does it mean that you prosper at all levels? 
So alignment is, uh, is related to connection, is related to, uh, to synchronicity. So if we, like we took the example of Earth, Earth is complete within itself. So when we talk, a lot, we talk about alignment, we talk of connectivity to all aspects of life. We, we talked to, uh, in terms of health, we talked on terms, in terms of financials, we talk also in terms of happiness, all right? So it's a holistic uh, view of human life when we apply the basic principles of us to how can we develop, how can we grow a holistic life? How can, can we nurture each of each and every aspect of our life. So Vastu is what uh, gives us those precisions. How can we, grow, uh, we, we can trigger growth in each of those aspects. Vindesh, we have almost come to the end of uh, this interview. Uh, anything you would like to add on before we close it? Yeah, with pleasure, Roshan. I would like to, uh, to thank you and the whole team uh, be, behind uh, Encounter for such a wonderful uh, experience. And I think that we have so much learned and shared today. Thank you very much for sharing your knowledge and wisdom. Of course, one program is not enough uh, to cover the whole Vastu aspect. But at least this is a beginning, and people at home, I'm sure, will have a broad understanding. If they want to know more, they can inquire more on the internet or even get in touch with you. So I thank you very much for being here and, uh, and being present at the studios of the NBC. Thank you, Roshan. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of uh, this program of Encounter. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have any suggestions on a topic or a guest that would be interesting uh, to encounter, also drop an email. Until the very next program, goodbye.